So how's it going Basement Legends and welcome to Enderall Forgotten Stories. So this is a total conversion mod for Skyrim and has like its own original story. It looks really impressive. I've heard good things about this mod. I've had people ask me to check it out. This fella is just eyeing me. What are you looking at? Look I know I'm handsome but you don't have to give me the dodgy eye. Do you know that? We have this city here in the background. It reminds me of like the layout of Solitude like the big city over the cliff. Very Game of Thrones style high. Alright we're gonna jump in. I've been talking too much. We're just gonna jump right in. It doesn't take place in the Elder Scrolls universe I believe. It's like its own original fantasy story world and immediately we're jumped right in okay well the first thing the game wants me to do is talk with daddy but I'm right here but this is stunning look at this we've got the sun it's a sunny summer's day it's seven days in sunny June's great song this looks proper job it's well done look at the buildings and everything oh we've got horses how are you lads doing you busy recently you up too much did I see you at Cheltenham now I'll talk to you soon just joking I'll talk to you lads don't go too mad on the old grass hi <laughs> okay we're just gonna follow the path that's set out towards us Oh, that, that, is that a chicken? Whatever that is, that scared the life out of me. This is absolutely stunning. I'm walking off the beaten path. I don't know if this is something I should be doing, but look. All right, I better get back onto the path. All the wildlife is scaring me. It's like a normal day. Oh, would you look at that? It's the moon. It's like the moon from uh, Bear in the Big Blue House. All right, let's go in. So we're just walking up to this old house here. This is nice. Ah, there's the fella. Are you the daddy I've been hearing so much about? You're kind of taking my territory, do you mind? Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? Purpose in life? Nah. I'm gonna go along with him and say no I didn't? No? Hmm. Pity. I know. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? Did I ask for your feckin' advice? Oh well, who knows. Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help mommy with the cooking? The creator was kind to us today. The creator? Well right. So you want to talk to us, huh? Okay, there's blood on the tree stump. Here your wood is bleeding. Do you think they check for that? I prefer my wood non-blooded, do you mind? Alright, let me go inside. I like the music in the background. I love in Skyrim, like, you know, you have butterflies and jars and things like that. When I first played Skyrim, I was like, that's so cool, it's like an object. Search tomatoes, okay. I can only take one. This container is lying to me. It said I can only take one. That's a lie. I'm just gonna close the door. Be nice. I'm gonna lock him outside, because he's creepy. <laughs> Okay, that scared me. I didn't know this was a horror game, but all right. Is this a horror? Two pounds of minced meat, one jar of flour, a handful of bruised garlic. Sounds like the ingredients for my birthday cake. All right. This, this is a nice house. I'm kind of scared. This is eerie. Is this like a flashback or something? Because like, I'm, I'm a child because I'm assuming I'm a child. Oh, there's a dead elk. Elk, moose, deer. Okay, daddy's whistling. Can you stop? Is he behind me? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. I'm not scared. My, my. I totally forgot what a mess I left here. I know. Bambi's dead. Well, then. Let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? What about mommy and sister? Yeah. Where's the old lady? Oh, no. Did something happen to them? What? Now, would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. They're dead. Don't you remember? But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least this means there's more meat for the two of us. He's comparing his dead family to spilled milk. I'll look for a nice sharp knife in the meantime to cut off the head. I don't think either of us wants to eat that, do we? <laughs> his animation too is creeping me out. He compared the death of his wife and daughter to a spilt milk. Listen fella, you can just walk down to the shop and get more. You can't, you can't get another wife. Well, you can, but like, you shouldn't kill him. <laughs> but I didn't kill him, it was the masked men. Oh look, it's all three dialogue options. I didn't kill him, it was the masked men. I'm afraid to talk to him anymore. Can I just exit out? Oh silly, what's this again? We both know that's a lie. His eyes are blood red. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed. Okay, this is dark. When she finally got there, Nothing was left of her but burnt flesh, and... This is a nice wholesome story. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, Oh. changes nothing. The music stopped. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. Don't use the word bloody in my house. All the dialogue options are the same. I'm just afraid to click forward. I don't think this is something I want to do. Oh, by the creator's name! Don't you dare use Will Wright's name in vain. Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? You know, sometimes I wish the creator would have made me just a little less merciful. He made the sins too. Do you mind who you're talking about? And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. This is nice. Just like you killed us. It's like visiting home in real life. Well, listen up, my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. 
Okay. Freaky. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring me the meat. I'm not scared. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. I've only black pudding, will that do? I'm like joking around, but the voice acting and presentation of this is really well done. Let's begin with a question. Am I on a horse cart? What distinguishes a free man from a slave? Are you Andrew Ryan? With the death of the Lightborn. The Lightborn? Is there a Darkborn? Seven Arcanists. Seven deadly Dragon Balls. <laughs> they gave mankind what they thought it needed most. Communism. <laughs> they became gods, or Lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. I like the illustrations, they're really well done. I am excited for this. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. I, I killed my family. Do I deserve to be free? I don't know. Was that actually me in the intro? Or listen, there's something going on and I want to find out what it is. Quiet, damn it. You wanna wake up the entire ship or what? They're sending us tomorrow and great. <sighs> well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I... Oh, serious? Shouldn't you be an Azkaban fella? Uh-huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for- <laughs> oh, I get it, seriously. <laughs> met where you woke up screaming. We'd probably be traveling to Anderal in our own starship and- Starship? Something's never changed. Is this like Final Fantasy? Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean. I really did kill my family? Maybe something happened that I'm blaming myself for, but I didn't kill them. Maybe my actions just inadvertently caused their death and that's what's going on? Yes, no, maybe... I don't know. Can you repeat the question? Serious. Nonsense, those bastards from the temple killed them, not me. Okay, so yeah, blame myself, what makes you think that? I don't know, maybe? Even if I do, what difference does it make? I, I guess I'm gonna play it a middle of the field. None. You're right. I like your hair. Who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. I I'm screaming in my sleep. I'm not over it. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. You should probably take some Panadol or something. It's not our fault that the ship's so poorly guarded. Me too, we're going to pay our debt as soon as we earn some money over there. Okay, we're in debt, like, instantly. But let's be optimistic, because that's all you have. We're talking about 500 pennies here. Pennies? Even if we're that's like 5 euros. Over there, we will still need the money for ourselves. Don't fool yourself. What we're doing here is theft. Unfortunately. At least you're being positive. But what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. The voice acting is top quality. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did My she dead mother that I killed? I think so. Times, but uh, I just keep on forgetting it. Okay, he just looks really young. This is kind of like Imperial, I guess. Now it's saying half, so we're half whatever the race is, and then other half to let us know in the story. Look at this fella's jaw. You could grind stone on it. All right, I'll be you. Heavy armor, two-handed health. Yep, they sound boring, just for me. Sex. Uh, oh, look at him, he's built. I like all the hairstyles and everything. This is top quality. I look like a Final Fantasy character who like gets forgotten about after like the first hour. Do I want him skinny? Or built. You know, with that kind of face, I wouldn't expect him to have, like, this kind of body. I know it's a fantasy game, lads, but we have to have our expectations. Complexion. Give me pale as... Okay. Huh. We can roleplay as the chosen undead if we want. Give me my clay face. With a bit of dirt on it, I guess. We can roleplay as Aragon. We can just have dirt on our face 24-7. Uh, just to kind of skim through this, I'm not going to spend too much time making a character. Let's just see what the hairstyles are like. How do you have hair gel in, like, medieval times to make your hair just do that? All right, just give me back my old hairstyle. There we go. Oh, look, I'm just Alistair from Dragon Age. Give me back my mop. Thank you. Can I have, like, a proper beard? What's up, everybody? It's critical. <laughs> that's, a, that's a grand old beard. All right, fine. Give me back my chin strap. I just want, like... Just a proper kind of beardy beard kind. Okay, that'll do. I look like PewDiePie. <laughs> I guess that's kind of my hair color. All right, let's just go in. Let's just, let's just go. Name me. Yeah, me. Okay. Finish your name, your character. Yep. You know, I'm just going to name it me. Who are you? I'm just me. <laughs> I like their suggestion. Araziel. Right. How could I have forgotten? She was one of the few free people who ever set foot on a ship. Whew. I'm going to hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? What is it? Dragons. Someone's coming! Now, I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days. Back when I could lift a skirt, nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, I, I want to kill them right now. They don't sound like nice fellas. Jesus, what do they want down here? The lamp! Quickly! Put out the lamp! Good. Now. Wouldn't they just notice the light going out? I don't know. 
My, it smells like Vautier's balls down here. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. Okay. We need to use the voice lines in our game. Okay. You're hired. You take on the old guy. I'll take the young one. Go. Leave me with the old fella. I like who he's sneaking, but now he just wants to beat him up. Can I just gang up on him? You can do it. Fuck you, button. <laughs> Screw you, serious. God, he's just dead. I didn't even knock him out. He's just dead. All right, close. I'll take close. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. My fists are still up. wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> Not at all. Oh, what in blazes are we going to do now? I don't want to want to jump him. Let's kill him. Tie him up and gag him. Because that sounds... Like a fun night. Yes, yes, of course. That that makes sense. Oh, he likes that idea. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on, help me search. There must be a rope or something. Okay, so they're not dead. The rope's in my bed. Uh, why do I have no clothes on myself? Listen, if I'm wearing their clothes, it's probably not a good look. Because they'll know I've just taken his clothing. But alright. I think he told me exactly where to find one. And of course I was listening. Can I turn the lantern back on? Oh no. Flower? Oh, that, that was fl Excuse me? That's flour? What kind of flour are you using in your cakes? All right. Looks like cornflakes. Okay, surely it's around here, right? Is that it? That, 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 that's rope, right? Maybe? Oh, here it is. Okay, okay. I, I, I didn't even know where it was. The probabilities have turned against you. Who are you? What the? Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. As are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. Th th these guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you. For your intentions were not evil. And I believe... Who are you? What the... Oh no. No. What are you doing? Please. Just don't leave. We, were just, we just wanted to... Is it water supposed to be rising up or... Okay, we're gonna drown. Great. I've died already. Oh look, we're going to the Fade from Dragon Age. After we had lost Ostin, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Seabald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Today is just not going well for us. Is that about it? Yes, I, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance? Yes, I think I understand. She looks like an Assassin's Creed character. You wanted to start... You're gonna kill him. Get it over with. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. Yeah, just kill him. <laughs> I know he's dead. I know he's gonna die. You did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. Instead, you've nested on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? You'd have to be stupid where that kind of hash, to be fair. You are cutthroats, filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. <laughs> it's weird hearing him say the word There's shit in like this fantasy setting. You two are scum. Aw, what did I do? One kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But Captain, they... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in their room. But... Oh, he just kind of floated up. You can't do this. Oh, believe me, I can. Bye, dude. <laughs> no, I... <laughs> yep, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh, well, look at that. Someone's woken up. 
Rise and shine. Yeah, you're killing woke me up, do you mind? I'm trying to get a nap. Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good luck in your new life, friend. It's been a tough one morning. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, you're okay. They kill me too. All right. So I burned up in a house fire. Our ship filled up with water and I drowned, I think. And now I've just been stabbed. Tell me, what is time to the dead? Dreaming anyway. They so many people just talk, 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 and never... How does it to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, Tina. I know I'm not real. At least not according to your definition. I know damn well I do. It's just... And there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this just isn't happening. What is reality anyway? It's all just eerie. It just wants to creep me out. Is this a horror game or what? I still can't tell. Oh, I've learned a talent. Meditation. Are you just trying to get me to download Audible with the guide of meditation? Look, I don't want to. Your ads are annoying. Magic. Meditate to unlock new memories. Oh, okay. Memories? Are they my own memories? Or when you're solely wearing heavy armor, the chance that your enemies make you stagger. Oh, okay. It's like an upgrade tree. Okay, I see how it is. Leave the world by meditating with why? Okay, I want out of here. Need food, but your penny pouch is empty. Hunt a deer and cook it. Oh, that sounds cool. I want to hunt a deer. But if I hunt a deer, my father will just burn my house again. I feel dizzy. Oh no, am I a vampire? Okay, well, here we are on shore. It's reminding me of like Assassin's Creed Black Flag a little bit. Okay, let's do an adventure. Oh, my clothes are gone again. His hair is still as kempt as ever though. So that's something. The running animation is different than everything. That's well detailed. Would you look at this? This is stunning. This mod is giving a great first impression. Gotta say. Sirius is dead and I am alive. That's all I should have said. I should have just cut off there. My friend's dead. I write these words but I am not sure if I am understanding them at least one bit. I am on my own. It's had to be Enderal. 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 I am feeling strange, feverish and weak as well as strong and clear. As if a veil has been put in front of my eyes for my entire life which was lifted now. I am also remembering a weird dream which I had before I woke up. Especially the words of the veiled woman who subdued Sirius and me in the ship's bow. It all begins with the dreams. Remember I need answers. And I can find those most likely on shore. If we just follow the guided path I'm sure we will. Alright let's get started. Can I hunt for food? It's raining. It's rain and blood. No, it's not. It's not a Slayer song. This tomb is just reminding me of Uncharted or something. The Ruin, just like in the vision. Oh, it is the same one. Of a rat. A pit rat. Great. These rats are going to kill me. Oh, this game has like an experience system. Okay. For this overhaul mod, there's one for Oblivion and there's one for Morrowind. I believe Nerim is the one for Oblivion and Arctwind. I think it's like Arctwind or something like that is the Morrowind one. My plan is to eventually check out the other ones at some stage and see what they're like. Can I go inside your tent? There's like no items to take. Can I get some armor or something? Can I get some heavy armor? Abandoned temple. Great. We're going to find everything we want here. All right. I like the colors and everything. It's contrasting really well. well there's a dead man. Great. Okay, I have to equip skill books. Hey, my one-handed skill increased by 1 to 16. Okay. Hello, bud. You're doing well. Good talk. I was waiting for his eyes to open. His eyes are going to open. I know it. Oh, here's the stepping stones. Is there like an item here I need or... The rune key. Is that what I put in here? Just wake up. Okay, something's going on. I don't know what changed. Can you give me back my key? Maybe I want to... Oh, all right. That's cool. There's platforming. It's very inspired by like Crash Bandicoot. All right, bats. Okay, my health's not restoring on its own. So um, I don't know how we're gonna how we're gonna heal ourselves. Do I have any healing? Increases weapon damage. Unlock new memories. So I'm guessing meditation is how we like level up. Okay, well, since there's no health regen, uh, I think I'm just dead. Crystals. Of course. It's like in Knights of the Old Republic when you find this cave full of crystals and you can just get like a bunch of lightsaber upgrades. I like that cave. It's good for the old serotonin. Okay, I'm being killed. My arcane fever. It sounds like a great name for an album. Stop making my fever worse. Do you mind? I thought crystals were supposed to be good or something. Spell tome for grounding old robe. Okay, I'm just getting more sick by being here. I don't think I want to be here too long. Give me the robe. Give me... Oh, he spells now. I like spells. Skyrim is like the only Elder Scrolls game where I actually like the magic system. Picking mushrooms off the wall, as you do. Scrap metal, lock picks. Okay, don't know if I should be taking it, but I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Can I duck under here? Oh, it's just gonna stop me. All right, can I rest? Can I rest in the bed? Okay, I can. Is it gonna heal me? Please heal me. 
Hey, it did. Trust and Enderal need a sleeping place, hence you need to search for beds and visit taverns. So I'm guessing I can't just rest. Yeah, you can't rest or wait. There's no wait mechanic. So I'm guessing since there's no wait mechanic, the time of day doesn't matter for quests, even though I don't think time of day mattered in many quests in Skyrim anyway. The corpses and the light, they are gone. That's a very astute observation. Where did you get that from? I want this in my bedroom. Imagine bringing girls back to your bedroom and they just see that, they'll be enamored. That's a great tooltip right there. Remember that now, lads. I like that noise. That's cool. I like that. The machine, why does it seem so familiar? Everything is familiar to you. There's a lot of exploring so far. Ice claw. You found an ice claw. Ice claw is listed in your inventory. Permanently raise your carry weight. Oh, okay. That's dope. I like that. Here we go. I love those little kind of passive upgrades. The systems in this mod so far seem to be really well implemented. Uh, let's see. Let's look around. All right, let's go into the deep, dark, damp, musty cave tomb thing. Because, of course, what is Boon? We got a new spell. What is Boon? Oh, it's healing. Wait, worsens your arcane fever. Great. Okay, so this fever is like, is like an overarching thing. Like, we're always going to have some fever. So there's like negatives to healing. Okay. So we have a healing spell, but there's a, there's a negative to it. I'll take a pickaxe in case I need it. Now, is there some direction I go here? Because uh, I'm a little lost now and it's a bit dark. Can I go here? Can I, can I jump through? Nah, don't think so. Do I have to stop these windmills somehow? Or do I go back the way I came? Okay, back to temple. I think I need to go back. Let's try and find our way out of here. I don't think I go back this way. All right, so if that's the way I came, is there like another exit out this way or? I'm a bit lost. All right, this is the way I came in, right? Yep, maybe there's another few entrances down here. I guess I just go back here, right? Is that what I do? Let me in. Let me in. All right. That was a chest here I didn't see. Their currency is actually called pennies. All right, that's cool. Let me true. I know you can get through this way. Oh, there's a there's a big valve right here. I feel dumb now. That's going to stop this, right? Oh, that's nice. Don't fall on me. Final destination style. You can sneak to stay undetected. I only have a spell. I'm not going to have much luck with a sneak attack unless I punch him. I just used all my magic trying to activate those windmills. Oh, okay. Well, I have no means of defending myself. Um, yeah, I think it said this restores magicka. It said something restores magicka and I'm after forgetting. Your body cannot tolerate wolf blood and... Some, okay, I just want to eat some ingredients. And now it's killing me. Oh, look at all those effects. Am I just going to have to punch this fella? He's running away. I mean, I'd run away too. Okay. Can I just run? Can I just jump over him? Jump over him? Jump over him? Yeah, we're dead. We died. Big surprise. Can I just lure him back? I don't think we're going to kill this fella. Come on back here, buddy. Why are you running away? Why are you running away? Guess I could just loot this place while he's waiting there. Yeah, there's nothing here. Okay. Come back here, pal. Over here. I'm right here. I'm not exactly hidden. Okay, just run past him. I can't run past him. Come back here, bud. Come back here. Come back here. Did you jump over him? Okay, he's just stuck. I need to I need to load an autosave because I can't get around him. We're gonna try and sneak around him this time. I'm hoping that's the actual exit out of this place. Hopefully, maybe. Please, just sneak up this way. Okay, he's after seeing me straight away. Just try and sneak around him. Just try and sneak around him. He's blatantly looking right at me. I'm detected right now. He's not going to do anything. He'll do no harm to you. He'll do no harm to you. Iron Claymore. All right. A drill. Okay. Is that for opening wine? I don't think so. Silver bowl. Spare parts. Okay, I'll take them all. Jump up over this way. He's going to... He's detected. Let's just run. Just run for it. Just run for it. Just run for it. Just run out. The Sun Coast. All right. Is this it? Is this the open world? I can't wait to see this. I love the art illustrations for the loading screens. This is really well done. It starts with... Oh, look at this. Hey, and I've leveled up. It's like leaving the vault or leaving the sewers in oblivion. Ah, oh, look at this. This is stunning. This is absolutely stunning. I just look like a monk. Can I get some armor maybe? I should come back to this. I say that a lot with mods, but I do want to do one or two more episodes of this because I think this is like a really quality mod. This looks fun. I can't wait to dive into more of this. A great fireflies. <laughs> Whenever I play games, there's always like fireflies in it somehow. Do I have to put the song in? I'll put the song in. That's the fungi it was telling me about. The mana fungi. That's the one. I thought it was the other pod things. Okay, let's get some experience on this. Let's just find something. 
Oh, look at that. That's like a stat menu. I like this. Name, me. I just kept it the way it was. Experience, arcane fever. Arcane fever determines your mental health as magic user. Casting healing spells using health potions or being at specific locations raises the fever. When your fever increases, you get mali. Once it hits 100%, you die. That sounds like a fun mechanic. Great. We have disco fever, apparently. Abandoned tower. That's not the way it came, right? Do I need to go down the abandoned tower to get to the floor? Guess we do. Let's go through the tower. All right, let's make our way down. Spell tome. Okay, a fire spell. Give me. I keep going into the magic menu first when I need to read it. Here we go. Give me fire. Oh, we have fire now. You traps your advantage by defeating enemies with them. Okay, so here's the troll. Okay, trolls are hard. This Draugr is just contemplating his life choices. I don't want to take human flesh. If you, if you don't mind. Come here, pal. Your mom's a schlag. Come over here. Go over to trap. Hey! That was intuitive. And we're getting experience. All right. I like the experience system. I don't know exactly how to level up, but look, I like it. Old iron arrows. Great. Health potion. Rancid. Oh, it has like spoiled effects. It's like Morrowind with some of its like spoiled potions. Old vagrant dress. All right. Sounds like my kind of dress. Okay. That looks dope. There's a chest up here. Can I jump up to get it or give me that open that up there you go boon rank one already have boom we have staff great i have some defensive weapons seems to be all magic based well i do have a pickaxe i forgot i could use that as a weapon okay staff of flames i guess in my right hand okay now we're maging i didn't go into this expecting to be a mage but look we'll just go with it i'll take a magic symbol oh there's a hundred of them there's collectibles and everything i don't want the human flesh i'll leave it off i don't like taking human flesh in games i don't know why i just i just don't i guess because carrying around human flesh kind of implicates your character as being a bit of a psychopath oh there's a shore i like this valley are you gonna attack me dog yeah i'm just gonna burn you if you don't mind bye dude oh it's a deer stalker i'll take the wolf meat though uh, all right, let's do a bit of exploring. Is there like a day and night cycle in this? Because I can't wait. I'm guessing there is because I think the sun went down. The sun goes down. It's a great Tin Lizzy song. I smell two while blocking to execute a bashing attack. I know it's bash. Okay, I know it's bash. Like crash bash. I know it's bash. There's more wolves here. Can I look at like the door map? Oh, would you look at this? Get away, local map. No one likes your local map unless we're inside. Would you look at this? This is expensive. I don't need the custom map marker. Get that away. Would you look at this? This is really quality. There it is. Enter all. So we have the mountains. Okay, there we are. We're in the Sin Coast. Is that what it's at? Oh, the Sun Coast. I thought it said the Sin Coast. Okay, let's just keep going. Stop avoiding me. Okay, I'm kind of getting overwhelmed here. Crap, something else is attacking me. Just run over here. Just run over here. Okay, now I'm kind of backed into a corner. Oh, hey! Okay, now we've leveled up. Okay, so now I can use this memory point when I transfer to the other place. Okay. Oh, hey, and our health's gone up. You open the hero menu. The hero menu is just for me. There's like so much quality gone into this. I, I can't wait to check out like Nerim and Arctwind. I think that's the name of the Morrowind one. I could be wrong. But look, I can't wait to check those out. Uh, yeah, that's dope. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? So if I go back to the memory place, we should be able to put points in now, right? You know, I've been doing a lot of magic. So I guess focus, is that magic? All right, I'll take that. I guess I'm just going to stick with the mage kind of teachings for now, because why not? All right, let's keep going. Let's try and find the town if we can. If you attack an enemy while sneaking and being concealed, your attack deals more damage. That's good. Let's brighten up my day here. It's definitely getting darker. Seems like there's a house or some kind of place of interest up ahead. I'm going to take the firefly. I love Old City. This is like really serene. The original music and everything in the background that accompanies it is really well done. Search chest. All the potions are rancid. How do I get proper ones that aren't rancid? Hello, you have a green hood. Now, would you look at that? I knew I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. You all have red eyes. What brings you here, my sir? Uh, to party. I'm here to party. Uh, none of your business. Long story. Who am I? Finn Delirious. Apothecarius Bar Finn Delirious. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. Where are you from? Uh, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I thought he was going to tell me Canada, like some people tell me. Wait a second. Who's that? I'm here to party. Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're you're standing here, having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, 
and your I can't even see it, but it won't let me move. Oh, there he is. May I present nice backpack, nerd. What is that, Chansport? <laughs> In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. All right. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called uh, River. All right, let's try and get to the village if we can. Take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes. <laughs> ah, well. Look at your eyes. You're telling me I'm not healthy? Look at your eyes. What about my eyes? Do you mind? Hmm. There's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Riverville, Riverwood, it's all connected. That's it for now. Thanks for the help. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. All right, I'll talk to you soon, bud. Can I use your alchemy stuff? Place is Finn. I'm playing. No. Don't bother me. <sighs> playing? It sounds shit. My fever's worse than for some reason. Okay, my eyesight's gone all wobbly. Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Uh, I've just gotten this worse fever all of a sudden. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt root. Grunt root? That should be enough to ease your pain. At least for I can't now. see straight. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. At least they're helping me out. Grunt roots, grunt roots. Ah, here we go. I've a touch of the swine flu. Take your time, it's not like I'm dying. I mean, they don't know me, so it's not like they owe me anything, but still. Oh, it's nice to not let your guests die in your shit. company. Some water. Ha, done. I can't make any promises, shit. but. Finn, the still. Explain. <laughs> Oh, it's the memory stuff all over again. I can see other people's memories. Oh, sod it. Do I really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. I still can't see straight. I don't like looking around. This day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. All right. See, you already look hey. better. Now I can actually see. You should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. Alright, thanks for helping me. Uh, explosion. I'm not sure... Oh, I'll the explosion follow. didn't really happen. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Finn Dalleries. Died in 8234. 8234? Exploding still. That's thousands of years after us. Is this the future? 8234. Finn to the year 3000. It was kind of shit, so I went home. Hmm. I could have sworn I saw something moving over there. Oh shit! He's dead. Uh, yep. <laughs> Carbos. Oh no, not Carbos. Anyone but Carbos. No. Those bastards. They've hit me. Uh, in the knee. They hit you in the knee. Oh, he just Carbos. did. He just flip over. Do something, damn it! Do oh, he's dead too. Great. Everyone around me is just dying. Is it my breath or something? Is it something I said? The company of everyone I go in front of just dies. Started the void. Great. I'm in the void. I'm in the shadow realm. Why do I keep getting knocked unconscious and spawning in random places? You look like serious a bit. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecaries. Well, you seem happy about it. Why are you smiling? Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever... A I keep story. barely escaping death. You're suffering from arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew only from the bard songs, right? Oh, my lightborn? You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, and drinking potions or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow in your head. It's like Harrisburg. Uh, yeah. Yes. That's all I respond with. Yes. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. It's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let Narcanus treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. It's all good news recently. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive. To Great, it's like I've joined Twitter. You have visions? I have one visions, like the Queen song, for lack of a better word. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peace weed. Sorry, okay. Is that what the kids are calling it nowadays? It looks like he's wearing, like, leather armor from The Witcher 1. All right, I'll help you out. Okay, this is just exposition, the man. Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to... Okay, quest. Thank you. 
Here we go. Good friend of Yarrow's. Ask him what he makes of the incident and whether he has any explanation for it. Secondly, a farm boy told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it was. All right. I myself will take a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Ah, and here. This is the map. Thank you. Yarrow's house is at the blue dot. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. Okay, uh, if a quest objective is marked by one or more stairs, they indicate the difficulty of said quest. Okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, now we have some small bit of direction. Is this the city up ahead? Let's get to our first town. Is this it? Are we here? Oh, it's the old dam outlook. But if I look on the map, talk with Yero's childhood, find the strong box. Okay, so we're given some quests. Okay. Being here at this stronghold, I think this is a good place to end off for now. I think it's a good proper first look. Um, what I want to do is eventually, maybe next time, get to the town, do a few quests, show off more of the game's mechanics, more of its story, uncover more of that. And yeah, I think that's a solid plan we've set out for ourselves. So lads, last is it. If you've enjoyed this episode of Enderall, be sure to leave an old like and a subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy, you should have because this mod is great. I'll talk to you next time lads. Cheers for watching.